Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well and welcome back to another series where we can learn how to build a forum with Laravel. Now, what I've done is I've already created a starter or base template for us to work from and that will be available on my, our GitHub. So if you go to angelj media slash forum, the one right there, I will provide the link in the description. You can either clone it or you can download the zip file. There's a couple of things that we need to you need to do to install it um, as well because the thing is it's going to require icons and I made use of the Blade UI Kit icons and I will get to that shortly. All right, but let me just quickly show you the demo. So basically we have our little forum right here. So we got all our posts. So this is just Blade templates right here. All right, and then we obviously just gonna if we can start a new discussion, someone can discuss create a discussion. So with the title, they can select a category and a description. So none of these things are working. This is all just available when you finish when you download or clone the repository on GitHub. All right. So if we go back to the forum again, so you can obviously show show all the posts and if you're going to go into a single thread you will basically people can like the thread or they can reply to the thread now this is all just like i said part of the base template that we're going to work with we're going to change a whole lot of couple of things but not too much but this is just so that we don't have to do all the html and things like that from scratch right and people can reply to it they can like it and yes all right so let me go to the dashboard we've got our dashboard right here so where the users where we can basically have our index and all that kind of stuff and our categories and our threads and all the kind of things that we can work with so i even created a template for us for our tables okay so that Whatever we do, we can use this template for our tables and for our create method. We got a little form right there, but we can also use. So we can we make use of the Blade UI Kit components and the Blade icons. So as you can see, we've got our icons right here, and I will show you how to install that as well, so that you can use them. All right, so if we expand and add new categories with new icons and things like that, you will know how to add them. All right, so this is basically the setup that we have that you download when you clone the repository or download the zip file. This is basically the starter template that we're going to work with. And obviously, we're going to use LiveWire component for the search and for the likes and the views and all that kind of stuff. And yes, all right, so. This is not basically just how to learn to build a firm. You're going to learn a whole lot of tools that you can use for other projects as well. Now, just a disclaimer, you can do whatever you want with this template. You don't have to credit me for anything. You can just use it, manipulate it, put it into another project, all that kind of stuff. You're free to do with, with it, whatever you want okay so let me just show you what it looked like in vs code and obviously what we want to do is if a person goes into a discussion or a thread they can actually just subscribe or follow the thread and stuff like that so we want also want to add later if the admin user want to lock this thread so that nobody can reply to it or anything like that we're going to add that functionality as well all right so let's see the structure in VS Code. All right, so all the views that we have seen in the front end is basically after you just use one controller, two controllers actually. We got our pages controller, and then we have our home controller right here. They just return the index page, the one that we see in the front. We obviously going to change the controllers and things like that, but for now I just use them to return the views. All right, so as you can see, we return the single view, create, and all that kind of stuff, and the page controller right there. But obviously, this will be deleted as we progress, and every view will have its own little controller. Every categories will have its controller, threads will have its own controller, and things like that. But for now, I just use the page controller just to display our views. So that's our controllers. Now let's go to our 
views. So in our views right here, we could, I'm using a lot of components. So I created our own components, components of the button primary, button secondary, and then obviously in our dashboard, it's got its own navigation and sidebar. And in our form section, we've got our error, we've got an input, and we've got our label. So we're going to use these components in our uh, views quite a lot. All right. So let me just show you, as you can see, our table right here. So let's go to, let me just go to our admin page, threads.index, uh, users, this one. So as you can see, we use the blade component for our head section. So that head, so instead of then adding all the styling and things like that, it's all done basically in our component right there. And we can just use the component right here to basically just show everything quite nice and neat. And you can actually just, because we had installed the click to the component or blade, we can actually easily go to it. And we used done the same for the data right there. Okay, so we'll be using quite a lot of blade components throughout the series. So that is for our table. And our next thing is we also added our logo under its own uh, blade component right there. Okay, so basically, it's a rough setup of what we have. And yes, so in the next parts and continuous parts, we will just basically add me to the forum so that we don't have to type in a whole lot of HTML or blade in this case. So most of the structure is done as well. So basically the app part of our lesson right here. So the app part is basically our dashboard. And then we use the base layout, that's for our login, and the guest layout, that is basically for the front part. All right, so let me just show you the things that you need to install in order to use the icons. So let me just show you under the components, links. Now let's go to our site, site map right here. Now, as you can see, we've got our Zondi user icons and our Zondi group and Zond icon. Now we're going to use the Euro icons and the Zond icon, but let me just show you how to install them. So otherwise you might get an error and things like that. Obviously, what, I, what you're going to need is you're going to need the Blade UI kit, and then you press Get Started, and you go to Installation. All right, and you obviously just clear your Convict file, and then you Composer require this. Okay, so let me just do that. So basically what you do is you press PHP Artisan Convict Clear. That one is quite good. And the next part is you need to compose a require the blade UI kit dot blade UI kit. Okay. All right. For, so basically, then it required it. The next part is we need to add the styles for our, in our head and top section and scripts. Okay. So let's go to our resources, views, layouts. Now, this one it's going to be in our head section. As you can see right here, you add the blade UI kit styles right there and another one that you will need is in your footer section now let's go to the now then under the scripts you just add the buk box scripts at the bottom right there basically blade ui kit scripts okay so the head the same as what you did with live wire the top and the bottom you just add this right there Right, the next part that you will need is you need Composer to require the Euro icons and things like that. So let's do that. So if you go back to the browser, you go to Blade UI icons. Now this one, um, basically what you will need is, let me just show you. If you go to all icons right here, you go down and for me, I chose, I've chosen Euro icons. So let me just choose something right there. Now, what you do is you just go to Compose Require Blade UI Kit right there, this one. But before you do that, you need to install the Blade icons. Let's go to Get Started. Right, so in here, you just go to the Convict Clear again and Blade Compose Require Blade UI Kit right there. Okay, 
So once you've done that, is basically you publish the vendor folder right here for blade icons. Then you'll have two folders, right? Two new files under your convicts. You will have your blade icons and your blade UI kit. Now the icons you need to uncomment the default. This will be commented out. Let me just make it a little bit bigger. This default will be commented out like this, and you will just uncomment it. Okay. So do that, and then you obviously just create a path called resources SVG. Uh, resources SVG. Just create that path folder right there. Just the SVG under resources right there as well. Otherwise, you will get an error. All right. So once you've done that, then you require the zond. Then require the zond icons. So if we go to zond. So on the icon right here, just click on anyone. Then you see Compose Required. Just click that as well. So you copy this. All right. And then you just paste it in there. And then you require that as well. Since I've already done it, I don't need to do it again. And the other one that you need to do is for the hero icons as well. So if we go back, let me just go back here and just choose the hero icons. Hero icons right here, and just choose anyone, and then we just compose the require that as well. All right, so then you do that, and then you're all done and set up. All right, so basically, let me just show you the place where you can actually find these icons on its own. So if we go to our browser quickly, so here you just type in Zondi icons. on icons and basically if you go in there all right Adam Wathan see all the icons then you can just basically browse all the icons right here so if you see something that you like you can obviously just go to your icons right here so let's say for instance this phone and you just type in phone and then you'll see one, you click on the icon, and then it will actually just show you the component right there. Quite nice and easy instead of the SVG and all that kind of stuff. It's already nicely made and easy to use for yourself. All right, the next one is obviously the Euro icons. So, Euro. All right, this one as well, you go and you can just choose whichever icon you want. And you just see the name, and then you go there, like for instance, let's choose the bell. So let's go back under Euro icons, we just choose the bell right there, and then you just choose it right there. Now, the thing is, I just said for the zero zond icons, I just chose something else. Let me just go to zond icons again and just choose the bell, the phone. Okay. And then you can obviously just click it and then you will have your component right there that you can just place a clipboard right there and you can copy it and just paste it in. Nice and neat. Right, so that's basically more or less the setup that we have and we are going to work from this template going forward. So yes, that's the introduction slash getting ready and all that kind of stuff. Right, so I appreciate it if you like the video so that others might find it and leave a comment. I'm having a bit of problems with my comment section at the moment with our YouTube videos. It doesn't show up. I don't know why. I made it uh, that to allow all comments, but at the moment I'm just getting a bit problems with YouTube right now. All right, so please leave a comment or a like and things like that and hit the bell icon or do whatever you want. And yes, we will do the series. This will be quite a long series because there's quite a lot of different things to do. And yes, hopefully you guys will join us for this whole process that we're going to go through. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Where we'll be getting, getting our hands dirty with the coding. Thank you guys and see you in the next one. Goodbye.